Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending July 8, 2017. I haven't done a single subject gadget report, maybe ever. I've done gadgets and uh, it's been a long time since I've actually done gadgets. I usually talk about outer space, Mars, stuff like that, but I would like to share a gadget I've been using for the last, well, in four more weeks it'll be two years I've been using this gadget and it was very cheap, 30 bucks is what it cost me and it's given me better performance than any gadget like this I have used in the past and it is the Greenworks Model 21212 Weed Whip or String Trimmer they call it and I have used this now like I said for uh, in August the middle of August it'll be two years I've used this for it's very cheap I got it for 30 bucks for some reason they jacked the price up though don't go and get it on Amazon they jacked the price up to 50 bucks I have found it right now I think they're um, not lowering the price because they're running out of them and people like it so much they're wanting to switch over to the cordless greenworks even uh, if you go to the site to uh, get this one they're promoting their cordless stuff which is whereas this one is a plug-in you can see there's the 110 volt plug so a lot of people might want to switch to the cordless model but I'm a cheap skate and the nice thing I like about this I think it also flips for a uh, lawn edging I never used it for lawn edging I just use it for a weed whip it's got this feed system and what happens when you uh, speed up this uh, uh, head unit and it slows back down again, when you let off and it slows back down again, it makes a little clicking sound and it feeds out exactly one quarter inch of line each time. Now, if anybody knows my yard, and I'll show you in a minute what size my yard is, it's probably something like about a third to, of an acre, something like that. I, my backyard goes across three other backyards. It's huge. And in the past, when I've used conventional string trimmers, I've got one up overhead that I just threw up there. There you can see there it's hanging down maybe you can see the edge of it that's a conventional string trimmer the last one before that I actually destroyed it beating on the bottom because they usually have that little button and you're supposed to bump it and it feeds out they never work right they tangle up they get caught and typically when I would be doing my yard it would take me twice I would have to actually um, refeed the spool. I would use up all the string in the spool and then have to wind it all up and actually do two full, well maybe one and a half, one and a half spools full of, of uh, string, trims, trimming string to get my yard done. And it was just getting disgusting and I figured I'd never tried automatic feed before and I thought 30 bucks, well if it doesn't last, you know, even if it lasts maybe part of a season, it's, you know, it's like a throwaway item at the price of 30 bucks. But this thing, this is still the original spool I bought with it when I, when I bought it two years ago. And they include an extra spool, too. Where did I lay it here? I laid it over here on my work table. I'll show you. Now, you probably can wind them by hand, but I'm thinking with the automatic system and it works so good, um, they sell the spools individually. They, they give you this extra one when you buy the thing. I don't know if it still do, but they did. Mine came with this extra one here. So if I get another two years out of this one, that's going to be four years total at the rate I'm using. And I mean, I use it, I, I mow grass once a week and every two weeks I go around and do all the trimming with this. So I don't do it probably as much as some people and maybe more than others but if this spool right here lasts me another two years I think I got a pretty good deal for my 30 bucks and now knowing what it is I would probably you know if I didn't have one and I knew how good it was I'd probably pay the extra 10 bucks now I looked around hayneedle.com I think has it for 40 bucks plus five bucks shipping so I think I, I would actually pay the extra because I mean like I said it's just real miserly with the string and if you need a little extra, you know, you just slow it down. You just speed it up, slow it down a couple times, let it click twice, and it gives you half an inch. But it keeps it in small enough increments that you don't end up uh, using up a lot of string. So model 21212 Greenworks. And let me show you my backyard when I'm... They recommend this for small to medium. I'd say mine even goes well beyond the medium. And I'll show you out here. I've got some bushes. And I actually use this. See those bushes there? I've, I actually, just because I was lazy, I actually used it to trim some of the branches off of those they were coming through the fence there I actually used the Greenworks uh, weed whip to to trim all that stuff and you're not really supposed to it's not really meant to be for that kind of heavy duty use but you can see I went through here chopped everything down and everything did all along my garage there over there by the air conditioner I didn't get to that there you can see I'm still needing to get that done I might do it today or I might do it next time I mow but and the same thing around the side in the front of the house so yeah, if you're looking for a trimmer and you still don't want to switch to the battery type, and I don't blame you, I've seen those things and they run, uh, they're really good brand name ones, run around $299. I think Greenworks has a version like this 
and if it has as good an auto feed system, and I think they must have a patent on that auto feed system, I'm guessing. I think they have one equivalent of this for about 179 bucks. Uh, I think the only difference is because it's battery powered, instead of having, you see, you got two lines here. I think the battery powered one only has single line, so that it's a little easier on the motor. So, if you'd like to share with me, if you have in the last year or two. Uh, paid a lot cheaper than you expected with a, a gadget that has really exceeded. I mean, this has more than exceeded my expectations. I figured, hey, I, uh, I buy fertilizer and lawn chemicals and pay 40, 50 bucks a year. So if I paid 30 bucks for a, a strain trimmer and I didn't really like it, just toss it or whatever, donate it to someone else. So let me know in the comments below if you have found a gadget of any kind that really was inexpensive and exceeded your expectations. So Take care, everybody. That's the TDD report for this week. I will catch you next week.